Merissa was one of our favorite destinations in Sri Lanka. It's without a doubt our favorite for the beach. We loved the vibes of Merissa. There were quite a few things to do. It wasn't as touristic as other beach destinations and there were so many nice places to eat at. In this video, we will go around all the best things to do in Merissa. Coconut Tree Hill is one of the most famous spots in Merissa. It became famous thanks to social media and influencer. You can visit it early morning or late in the afternoon to have the place not too crowded. The hill is filled with stunning coconut trees and offer pleasant ocean views. Next to the coconut tree hill, you can walk down to the turtle beach as well as turtle point. This location is a must to snorkel at to spot turtles. If you don't have your mask and tubes, you can rent some directly on the beach. Be sure to ask locals where to go see the turtles or follow the crowd. We got told by locals and saw the crowd and then spotted two turtles in five minutes. Parrot Rock is a stunning place in Merissa. This elevated lookout on top of a large rock offers a nice view of Merissa Beach and the ocean. We went there early morning during the low tide and it was great, as well as not crowded at all. Be sure to follow the line to reach the rock and not the big rock leading to it. Mirissa Beach is located next to Parrot Rock and is one of the longest beach in the area. It is perfect to chill at, but we especially enjoyed it for our morning walk. The secret beach of Mirissa is not so secret anymore, but on a clear day, it's a great place to watch sunset. The beach is quite small, but it offers a small pool where you are sheltered from the strong ocean waves. If you are looking for a cozier beach, then Secret Beach is for you. We discovered Spice Salem while in Mirissa. We were amazed by these shops that offer tons of natural, cruelty-free, well-being rituals made with powerful Ayurveda wonder herbs for your mind, body and soul. This was our place to go for souvenir. The shop is so colorful that it truly welcomes you in. An interesting thing that you can do while in Mirissa is to take a cooking class. We love the local food and a cooking class was the perfect opportunity to learn more about the local cuisine as well as to bring home some local and handmade recipes. On our way to Onawatuna from Mirissa, we stopped at a turtle hatchery. We were quite curious about this place as we had got really mixed reviews for them. Personally, we liked the one we visited. We learned a lot about turtles and from a regular person point of view, the turtles are well treated and without such center couldn't survive in the wild. So we would actually recommend visiting one. One thing that we truly love to do in Mirissa was to chill by the swimming pool in our accommodation. It was the perfect place to relax, enjoy a giant and fresh coconut, watch the chipmunks going around, hear the peacock chirping, and even watch the giant bats flying around at night. Alright, the final things to do in Mirissa in this video would be to go whale watching. This is something we didn't do, as we didn't have the time, but it is something you should consider as it is one of the most famous things to do in Mirissa. And if you want to save time planning your trip to Sri Lanka and later travel worry-free, we created a digital map with over 200 pins, including things to do, restaurants, accommodations, points of interest, trails, routes, and so much more. With this map, you will have all the information you need to travel in Sri Lanka. And guess what? It works on Android or Apple phones as well as PCs. In bonus, you get lifetime access as well as all the future updates. So if you want to know more about our Sri Lanka travel map, we put a link in the description.